So I remember when I took my oath, um, I was overwhelmed with a feeling of relief and accomplishment and pride. Um, and the words made perfect sense, but it's only with experience that the words actually take some meaning um, and really come to life. As you are taking this oath today, remember, oath is about empathy, professionalism, and care. If you've got those three, you are a winner. Also, oath is about humanity, responsibility of both provider and receiver. On reflection, the very first line stands out to me, which is I pledge to serve. And so we always need to remember that we are in service of people, not of ourselves, um, not of money, not of status or societal stereotypes. And we need to serve with integrity and humility. I really think it's important to actually reflect on um, the privilege that it is to be a health professional. So many people are trying to apply to get into one of the um, disciplines at the at UCT and for me you know it's a massive privilege to actually be sitting here today or to, for me to have earned my degree as a physiotherapist and I think we always have to remember that that is a privilege to actually be helping someone through a really difficult time that it involves one of the most important aspects of their life their health one of the commitment that you'll make is that of lifelong learning. The commitment to lifelong learning means using the current period that we're going through as an example is that you see that there's a rapid change in new knowledge, new diseases and new health challenges. And as a health professional, you must always be at the forefront of research, information, new technology to be able to respond appropriately. When you come into the health system, you may often feel that you can't change much. As a group of interns, we were able to notice that one of our wards in a rural hospital really needed touch-ups. It was a children's ward that was quite plain, but we worked together with local businesses, with colleagues, to ensure that we transformed it into a child-friendly ward. This does illustrate that coming with new eyes, you would and are able to change things for the better within the health system. Working with an underprivileged team and providing the coaches with skills or the athletes with skills to enhance their abilities is amazing. And I think that's the important thing within South Africa is that yes, we might not have the resources for every team might not be equal and every hospital might not be equal, but we have so much skill and knowledge as health professionals that it's so easy to actually teach another person. As a health professional in South Africa and given the inequalities in our societies, I think it's particularly important for health professionals to be mindful of those inequalities, to do their bits in terms of addressing those inequalities. And that will require us working not only across our disciplines in, in, you know, in the health professions, but with other sectors, working intersectorally to make sure that we address the challenges of our societies in a comprehensive manner. So the oath has guided my daily practice and I noticed this in my second month of internship when one of the matrons came to me and asked which university do I come from. Um, so I thought I did something wrong and you know said UCT. But what transpired actually has stuck with me for many months. Um, so she noticed that there was something different in the way in which I interacted with the nurses, the porters, the patient, and she really wanted to compliment that. Um, that was surprising because I thought I was doing what you should be doing, uh, but she had noticed that as something extraordinary. So many of you will get into the service and think you're doing the normal, but that turns out to be the extraordinary because of the type of education you've received and the type of training that you've received. And and one needs to embrace the good times, but learn from the difficult times and also look after yourselves amidst all of that and recognize that you have immense power as a healthcare professional to be a voice for your patients, um, to uphold their human rights, to serve them, and as cliched as it may sound, to make the world a better place. It is very important that the student must reflect on their work that they are doing within our communities, especially the marginalized community and vulnerable one. We need to hear the voices of our gogos, meaning our adult people who are always
are you standing in those queues at the clinic? We need to hear the voices of our own sisters who are uh, domestic violence abuse. Go out there and be advocate for a change. My message to students is to always remember what a resilient group they are. They are the group that saw the Fees Must Fall movement. They have just survived a pandemic. These are graduates who are going to be able to change the face of South Africa, the face of the health system in the country. And I think whenever it gets tough, every single graduate should remember that they have gone through the most and they will still survive. I really do feel that these challenges have made the class more resilient, more mature and more capable. And I really look forward um, to this new generation of more socially responsive and compassionate healthcare professionals. To the class of 2020, uh, you deserve a massive congratulations. To you, I say that you've conquered, you've made it this far, and I know that South Africa is going to be a better place because of you. Go well and make us proud. Congratulations on a remarkable achievement under extremely difficult circumstances. Um, I have true confidence um, that you will be fantastic healthcare professionals um, for the communities that you work for. I wish you every joy and success as you embark on this noble and rewarding profession. Um, much love. God bless. I would like to congratulate you for a journey well traveled. You have really surmounted many challenges and we look forward to welcoming you into the health system. A good luck for your future and be the lamp wherever you go. Shine. City is closer. Ndingandata. Baba uvula mapiko uwatweze. Meaning, fly eagle, fly higher and spread the wings. All the best to you. Halala, Ngozi.